the radial nerve is involved in entrapment syndromes less frequently than the ulnar nerve. When it does occur, there are different common sites you might see them. One is at the juncture of the middle and distal third forearm at the spiral groove of the humerus. The second is just distal to the elbow at the radial tunnel where the radial nerve bifurcates the supinator muscle. However, at this spot, the radial tunnel signs and symptoms can be confused with lateral humeral epicondylitis. It can also occur proximal to the wrist between the brachial radialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus muscles. The mechanism of this injury includes hypertrophied tendinous structure of the supinators, such as in individuals with repetitive pronation and supination occurring. These individuals include swimmers, music conductors, or even assembly line workers. You may see a radial nerve entrapment if there has been an elbow and or radial head dislocation with compression on the radial nerve or it may occur simply due to a direct blow to the radial tunnel. There is very little to see in this entrapment because it is a deep structure. The patient may complain of chronic aching with lateral pain approximately 6 to 7 centimeters below the lateral epicondyle. The pain is progressive and often related to muscle effort. It is also oftentimes nocturnal. The person will also complain of dysfunction with supination and pronation. Therefore, range of motion wise, the patient will have decreased supination and pronation as well as wrist extension and flexion. The special test that will be performed is Tenel sign. During manual muscle testing, symptoms are reproduced with manual muscle tests of the supinators. During neurovascular testing, you want to do a radial nerve assessment. There may be a paralysis that occurs, which is temporary, although it may be a permanent loss of the sensory and motor function, or there may be a paresis that is the partial or temporary paralysis. Diagnosis is performed through an EMG or a nerve conduction test. During conservative treatment, anti-inflammatories and brace splinting will be used. However, if that does not work, a surgical release of the radial tunnel may be performed. There are other tests for neurological dysfunction that need to be thought of. There is Tenel sign for the ulnar nerve, the Wartenberg sign for the ulnar nerve, the elbow flexion test for the cubital tunnel, specifically the ulnar nerve, a pronator Terry syndrome test for the median nerve, and a pinch grip test for the anterior inner osseous nerve.